Wow, your concept of connecting this retail industry with internet of things is really very innovative. It's like you have created an entirely new alternative for those big softwares. So, can you show me a little demonstration of how it works? Before we go through the uh, real demo, let me show you some graphical representation about the project so you can easily understand. Then we can jump. Okay. okay. So, this is the website of client. Here you can find all the information about the project which we have did. Okay. okay. First of all, let me show you the how it actually works. Okay. Okay. So, you can see here that's uh, how iPad app and Android app or iOS app is connected. You can see whenever you are adding the data like product, category or deals, everything it is going to stick first of all to cloud and cloud to going mobile. Okay. The same thing whenever customer or user going to order from mobile the data will same go to the cloud first and cloud to iPad. So both will be synchronized. There is no chance to mismatch anything. It looks like that uh, this application is made for restaurant like something. Not really actually. This is just a UI as client wants. But you can use for any retail industries as we discussed. You can use for restaurant, you can use for cafeteria, even you can use for small malls also. It's not particularly limited to the one industry. Okay, so can we order something from the website as well? Uh, not really. Because as we as we discussed, our main scenario was to do everything from iPad. Okay. That's why we have an iPad app for, for vendor. Okay, so uh, you mean that this website is only for the demo part? Yes, for UI interview, for example, a, a new customer came and he wants to understand what is the product, how it works, and what is this, where it's situated, who is the owner. So from here he can get every, everything from this website. Okay, nice graphics by the way. Thank you. So let's start with the real quick demo. Okay, I'm sure you are aware about the e-commerce application and you have used it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so this is the remote POS mobile application. And you can make an order from here and that can go to the iPad and I'll show you the how that iPad works. Okay. So first of all you can do the order from mobile. Okay. Well, you can try it. So here is the application, right? Yes. Okay. So these are the shops which are available to nearby. So for example if you are in Perth, Australia, so it will only show you the shops nearby you. So those are available and open. Okay. So for example, let's say this is our shop. So you can go to our shop and select any product which you want to order. Okay, so let's order salad. Okay. Uh, garden salad, okay. Uh, so here you can see the, about product information. That how is the product, how are the review. Is it 3 star, 2 star. And there's a, some bad review about the product uh, which has someone passed. But, so you can see here also. So let's buy it. So it's a typical card pay, how many quantity you want and etc. Okay, so let's add it to the card. Okay, so here then we have two systems like you want to take collect the order or you want a delivery. Okay. We have both. Actually this depends on the store, like some stores provide the delivery, some stores don't provide. So that's sitting you can do from iPad also. Like if you want a delivery then you can tick mark. So it will show delivery option here. Okay. But for example, is this store doesn't allow a delivery. So if you click on delivery, it will say you that delivery is not feasible on this address. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. so let's click and let's go to the pre order. And uh, let's first of all make one order with the cash. You will pay there. So let's try that pay at counter option. Okay. okay. So now here you can see there is options like in at what time you will be there 5, 10, 15, or 45 minutes. What time will be there? So you have to select that time. So that store can be ready with your product this time. Okay. So let's keep it for 20 minutes. Okay, just so like 20 minutes and just enter about uh, your address. Okay. Just for information for where you are. So next time whenever you come here, it will save your information. Okay, so don't here worry. we have to enter Yes, yes. But don't worry about the data. It will be purely encrypted. No one can see that. Okay. Let's say you enter this. And now that complete Yes, complete order. As you can see your order is in place. Okay. 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 So this is really one. easy, you know? Yes, definitely. So that was a simple order that you did by cash. Yeah. Now let's make uh, one order that you want to make an order and you don't want to pay that. You want to pay via credit card. So for that we have entered into the direct payment gateway. Okay. So for that you can pay from here. Okay. So let me show you a quick example that how you can pay. So first of all you can select any product which you want to. Um, let's go for salad again. <laughs> I think you like salad. Yeah. <laughs> Health conscious. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's buy it. 
The whole procedure again? Yeah, we have to because it's a new order. Okay. Now here there will be change. You can see here we have options like pay now. Yeah. So just click on pay now. I'm oh, sorry. Hmm. Yeah. See, here your address which you have entered last time, same here. So yeah. you no need to enter again. Yeah, okay. Just click on checkout payment. Okay. And this will open an official page of uh, payment. You can see whatever amount is there, you have to enter your card details. Okay, it's like that normal um, online banking that we do. Okay, so just let, let me add uh, some of my card details okay. for testing purpose. Okay. Okay, let's say I've entered that. Now you click on pay now. So if, if there is any issue about your car, your car is expired, it will give you the error. But okay. now it's when it's approved. Now you just I have to click on finish transaction. Let's see, order has been created. Oh. So now both the order is there on the store side. Okay. It's really easy, you know? Yes. And one more thing that you I'll I'll show you, for example, if you go to this shop okay. and if you want to see how many orders you have did in the past, yeah. that you can also see a file from here. And you can see here, three orders. So you can see your all order history. You can see till now we have ordered three and all are in processing. Okay, so here it will show the status, status of the order. Status of product, yes, correct. Okay. So for example, if you cancel something, then it will show cancel here. If you already pick up, it will show completed. Okay. So now this was the part from mobile app. And there are some more features also available like deals. In a deals, we call here loyalty. Okay. So when you, when you, whatever the loyalty is added by store, okay. it will display here. For example, for this store, you can see the product loyalty is there. Buy two, catch one. You can say buy 45 and get 3 free. Okay. This also, so whatever the loyalty has been added from this side, okay. it will show here. Okay. And one more feature is that which is called a special order. Okay. Sorry, special product. Okay. For example, let's say today I'm making a special food. Okay. And which is only available for today. Okay. So you can add it from your iPad and it will appear here. For example, right now it's showing no special available. So that means there is no special product for today. Okay. So these are the basic things which we have in mobile app. Yeah? There are a lot more things which you can check when you have free time. Okay, it's lo it looks like that uh, you have entered a whole restaurant in one application. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so so far whatever you do from mobile, let's check it out how it looks like an iPad. Okay, from the vendor side. Okay, so just let me take my iPad first. This here is our iPad. So let's just start the other application. So this is our application like first page. Uh, here first of all you have to enter your code, password, okay. which is unique for each store. Okay. And you cannot see that. Okay. Okay. And it is encrypted again, so no other user can use, use that. Okay. okay. Let's say for this means okay. Okay. And it's okay. Okay. So now again there's a second security status here. Like for example, if you want multiple roles of users. Okay. For example, cashier, waiter, manager, and even admin. Okay. Admin can access everything, like if you have to enter more products, like categories, deals. So that is a part of admin. Okay. Cashier or uh, manager cannot do that. Yeah. 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 So let's first of all log in with admin. Okay. 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 So when you log in with admin, we have given more feature, which is nowadays useful. Fingerprint. Oh. As all the iPad coming with fingerprints. Yeah. So if you are logging with admin, it will allow you to log in with your Fingerprint. fingerprint. So let's say I'm logging with fingerprint. See, I'm logging. Oh, that's easy. So now here we show that how many days are remaining. As this is a trial period, as our system give one year free trial period. Oh. This is the whole system coming free for one year. Okay. So it is showing that how many days are remaining. Okay. Okay. So now let's go quickly with your orders. Okay. So here you can see in a pre-order, you can see there are three orders are remaining. Okay. So shop owner also know that how many orders are there new. Okay. Once okay. I click on here, I can see the three orders from same customer. You can see. So okay. Second, these were the orders that I ordered for that yes, time. Exactly. Okay. So see, let's start with the second one. You can see here. You can see that this is one salad, and which is you have to pay here. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. it's showing the pay now. Here. Okay. So before do anything, first of all, I have to connect my printer one time. Okay. So let's first of all go to the print section. So now here you will be able to find that all the available printers which you can on and off here. Okay. okay. So let's wait here. So if my store is having four printers, mm -hmm. so I can select any of the printer available in my store. Yeah, sure. Okay. So you can see here now both I have two printers which are available. 
Okay. Both are here. So both are off right now. Okay. So let's say I want a true copy. One is for cashier and second is for chef. That he also should know that which order is there. Yeah. So let's say I put it two printers. And save it. Okay. Okay. And one more thing I want to show you that if you can see this drawer, which is a part of IoT. Okay. Which is also connected with our application. Okay. Without any wire. You can see there's no wire in there. Yeah. And this printer is also connected. So this uh, drawer is also connected with this printer. Okay. Okay. So now let's add to this order from here. You can say this. I want to yes. Oh wow. That's it. Yeah. That's so easy. It's like uh, you clicked it here and the print is there. Correct. So that this was the order which you have ordered from mobile and you already paid. Okay. So no need to open a drawer. No need to do anything. Yeah. Okay. So now let's let's do the second order where you want to pay here. Okay. This one was from the card. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So now let's do the second order where you have to pay here. Okay. So let's say you order this. You order. It's a no. So now you want to pay here. So okay. Let's say you click on pay now, and now you say that you have a big card. You want to pay here. Okay. You want to give me cash. Okay. So let's say you select direct credit options. So now you can see it will open in there. So now you have to give me your card. I'm sure you don't know. So, so these are the cards which are provided by Tyro for special testing purpose. Okay. So now you can see here is the twenty-two dollars. So I have to just swipe it. Okay. okay that's it. And here it will also show you the twenty-two dollars. Okay. Order. You don't need to write anything. It will go everything automatically. Okay. These all are connected. Yes. Okay. Now let's just swipe here. So once you swipe, it will show you here that which account is that. Is it a credit card, savings account, debit card? Okay. Let's say this is a credit card. So I choose credit card. Okay. And that's it. Now it will be processing here. Yeah, it's written there. Process. Yes, processing. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It's okay. It says thank you. Okay. Once I click on one, it will give me the print. It will directly generate the print from the printer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, one more example. Okay. And let's say you are the customer and you you go to the shop yeah. and you want to buy something. Okay. And you want to pay it by cash. Okay. Card. Okay. Okay. So let's say you go for and you select slot. And again, your favorite bill slot. Okay. And say you want two or three quantities, so you can just multiply two quantities. Okay. Let's say three quantity. Yeah. So total will be six to six. Okay. And you want to pay now. So we have also give a shortcuts like how many dollar you paid. Let's say you paid four hundred dollar. Okay. Just click on it, so you can change that how many dollar you need okay. for the change. Okay. Okay. So the cashier can easily give. Yeah. Okay. And once you click on done. It automatically again ask you how many copies you need, which email ID you want for your receipt. Okay, okay. Just press OK. Once you click on OK, it will print and drawer will automatically open. Okay. As this drawer is connected with our iPad via IoT. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Is it that similar to what we saw in the shopping malls and cafes? Exactly. Okay. okay. So now just close the drawer and enter. So so far we have gone through all the cases of order, like from application, from cash, from card. So all the right, all the different type of orders we have gone through. Yeah. So now let me give you the, some more information about the iPad. What are the features we have in this iPad? Okay. Okay. So here you can see the basic and simple for dashboard, which is normally there in a dashboard, dashboard application or your system which you are talking about. You can see here the categories. If you go to the particular categories, you will find all the products available in this. Yeah. If you want to directly, if some customer came and if you want to directly click any order, you can search about this product and you can find it. Second is that you can see here the order history. You can you can find all the orders which are been incomplete or complete. Okay. So you can quickly get a receipt of it if you want. Okay. That is also and again as I told you, if you have any orders which are pending for yeah. customer, you can see here. As you can see right now, there is no order, so there is nothing. Okay. Okay. So now we have also some shortcuts here. Okay. Like. If there is any customer, if you want to give a special discount, so we have a discount screen here. You can give me a discount. Okay. Okay. And if any cases like that, if you want to open a quick drawer, then you can also open from this button. Okay. Then suppose you have an order, but you want to cancel that order, then you can do from void order. There are also some features like, <coughs> as I said, if you want to add some product from this item, then you can do it from here. There are the different kind of things like if you want to add a category, if you want to order product. Store setting and loyalty. There are four sections. Okay. So you can add a category product store. Let me give you the direct about store setting, which is unique. Here you can do the basic changes about your store, like store image, store name, what is your IBN numbers, and now the other basic settings which is depend on the country. 
Okay. And more information you can find from here also store details. It's the same thing. Okay. These are the basic things which normally need. Yeah. Okay. And one more basic thing which we have given is that as this is a new product, suppose any store purchases and if you want some testing, yeah. we have one give options like training mode. So he can make this on and off. So if it do off, yeah. then nothing will appear on server. It will be all there in local. So okay. they can test. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So that was the basic intro about IP. Okay. But this is not end yet. Okay. As we have a complete whole system which I shown here in website too. Okay. I mean on the web. Let me show you the quick demo of that also. Whenever you just go to the login. Okay. So whenever the customer purchases, they will get the individual login details. Okay. okay. So let me go through here. Let's say I have a store. I'm just logging it. Get their own password. Okay. Once they log in, they will get this beautiful dashboard. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure this is much better than the available pure system. Yeah. You can see all the graphs. What are the sales has been done? Even on that which product and which date. For example, if you want to see last 15 days, last month, last three months. That can also be possible from here. Even from you can see that what are the recent items which are going to out of stock. Okay. So you, it is inventory management. So yeah. for example, you have 100 items, and from 100 items only some items are going to out of stock. So you can quickly say alert here. Yeah. So that was one of the things we include in backend. Okay. And second thing is that customers part. So let's say you did a thousand or two hundred, three thousand orders from your store. Okay. So all the customer details you will get here. Okay. But you will not get the personal details or password or anything. Yep. That will be encrypted. Okay. okay. Second part is same as product. As some people are still wants to use a computer. Okay. So they can think, uh, simply add the categories, products and deals and everything from here. Okay. They give all the features which is uh, there in iPad. Okay. So this is the desktop version of your iPad? Exactly. Okay. So as normal PO system are still there. So we are providing that thing also okay. with iPad. Okay. And the most settings which are shown you there, there is the settings menu. From here you can add your account setting, then payment. As I open register, if I want to take a payment, as yeah. everybody do. Yeah. So here I have to simply add the details in which account I will get payments. Okay. Then as I told you, that this is for Australia. Okay. We have integrated the zero. Yeah. So here is a test. You, you have to connect zero to your login details. So okay. it will send your all invoices to zero. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next is. As I also told you that in the iPad we have different roles like manager, waiter, so you can add this from here. As well as all the things you can do from iPad also. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then you can change your profile pic as whenever you want. And the main thing, whenever you are installing the system, we are giving you two barcodes. Okay. So if any customer came to your shop, you can simply print this barcode and put it there. So okay. each customer will install you the remote pairs application. Okay. So it seems like you have provided a complete end-to-end -end solution for the retail industries. Definitely. I'm sure if, if someone if someone use this, they will never use anything else except this.